Hello everyone! In today's video I will show you how to install your own SAP system. In this system you can learn the ABA programming language and test and try out the latest functions. I use Wittlebox 7 from Oracle, OpenSUSE Leap 15.4 and SAP ABAP 7.52. You can find the links to download the software in the description. So, Let's start uh, with the download of Weirdware Box. I have a Windows host. So I click here. So the download is finished now. So let's go back to uh, download SUSE Leap. Here we click on Leap 15.4. Then download. And I pick the updated offline image. Next is the SAP software. So I click on this link and then we see the website with the trials and downloads. So let's uh, scroll down to SAP ABAP 7.52. Here it is. SAP NetWeaver AS ABAP Developer Edition 7.52 Service Pack 4. And we need these packages 1 to 11 and the license. So we click on the first part. Then there is a window. We have to register or we already have an account. So I'm already registered. Click on the login button. And then I type here my ID and my password. So this is necessary to get the ABAP software. Then I click the license agreement. And now I can download the first part. Okay, there's another login. Okay, so I let's type the ID again. And now the download should start. Yes, we see the first part is downloading. So we can go back to the trials and downloads. Scroll down to part two. End user license agreement. I agree. And I click on download here. And the second part is downloading as well. So we do this for all parts and for the license. So I cancel these downloads because I already downloaded the packages and the software. So I open the Windows Explorer and go to the folder where I have downloaded the software. 
and here are my packages in the folder ABAP 752 the ABAP software OpenSUSE folder the ISO of OpenSUSE and the virtual box and now I start with installing the virtual box Click on next. And yes. So let's install virtual box. And finish. Next, let's open Wittlebox. We see here the Wittlebox manager. And now I create the new image. For this, I click on the button New. And now I provide some settings here. First, the name. I call it SAP ABAP. Then I pick the folder uh, where the virtual the image will be stored, and I pick my OpenSUSE image. And I click on Open, then Next. Then we check the memory and the processors. I pick here 16 gigabyte. It should work with 8 GB as well and I pick 4 CPUs. Then next, next, then I create the virtual drive. I pick here 100 GB. This is enough. But it should not be less. Ok, then on next. Then I have an overview of my settings and then I click on finish. So now we can start the image. And we start the installation of OpenSUSE Leap. Okay, then I pick the language and the keyboard layout. Let's check. Okay, it works. And click on next. 
Yes, we enable the online repositories. We leave this default and go to next. Then we pick the window manager. I pick here XFCA, but you can choose GNOME or KDE as well. Then click on next. Okay, next. And now we pick the region and the Time zone. Next. Now we pick a username. So I type here ABAP admin. My username is ABAP. And the password should have eight characters lowercase, uppercase, and numbers. No special characters, please. Then on next. Here we have two important steps. We have to disable the firewall and we have to enable SSH. So we do this now. Next, we enable the SSH service. And we click on install. Yes, we confirm the installation. So this take a bit time you see here some gigabyte and some packages I have increased the speed here a little bit okay and now we reboot the system Oh, a nice picture because we have December now. Okay, so let's run OpenSUSE Leap. Okay, so now we uncheck this checkbox and close the window. And the next step is to install the guest editions. Unfortunately, you don't see the device menu entry. Click on device, then optical drivers. And we remove the OpenSUSE ISO disk. Next, devices, then insert guest editions, CD image. So a double click. And now we need the file webox linux editions.run. So let's have a look to these uh, files. 
And here it is. So to run this file, we open the terminal. We copy the path. Then we write CD and we paste the path. Enter. So these are the files and then we write sudo sh dot slash we box linux editions run After that, we reboot the system with sudo reboot. Then we open the terminal and we install some packages. sudo zipper in uuidd Okay, next we write IP address and then we see an IP address here. We remember the IP address and next we type sudo nano slash etc slash hosts this is the first file we have to edit then we scroll down to the next three line and we type here our ip address 10.0.2 dot 15 and the host name we h c a l n p l c i we close with control x then yes and enter so the next file we have to edit is hostname so i write sudo nano slash etc slash hostname enter and here we write the hostname we h c a l n p l c i
we press Ctrl X, yes and enter. And now we have to reboot the machine with sudo reboot. So the installation of OpenSUSE is now finished and in this system we install now SAP ABAP. And to do this we have to go to the folder where we have downloaded the ABAP zip files. Double click and we unzip these files in this folder with extract here. I have increased this step a little bit. Now the source code is extracted. Next we extract the license file. into the folder license. Then we open this folder, double click to Sybase and here is the license file. So right click copy. Then we go back to the root and we double click on server, tar and x86. And here we paste the license file. This is an important step. So now I go back. And next we have to edit the install script from SAP. And for this we open this install script. This is the orig original file from SAP. And in this file we have to change some lines of code. And I open another file and in this file you have the... Uh, uh, we will find the old script, uh, the old code snippet and the new code snippet. You find this uh, code snippet in the description of the video. On the left side the original script and on the right side the two code snippets. snippets the old one and the new one. So now we have to search for this uh, string. We have to search for the first line of the old script. Um, uh, let's uh, copy just the, only the first line, copy and let's search for this line of code in the original script. So click on find and here on line 882 here is the code snippet. And now we have to comment these three lines. So these two and this one. So let's do this. We comment these three lines and here we and here we paste the new script the new uh, script snippet. So let's copy this and paste it in the original install sh file. So let's uh, check this. 
Okay, it looks good. This is the new code snippet we have inserted yet. So we save this file and we can close these both windows. So if you want to know uh, further information about the new script, you can click on this link. I provide this link in the description in my video and here you can read some more information about this. And here you see this is the our script. So let's uh, close these windows. Um, the, the next step is we add a shared folder. So I click on devices, shared folders, then right side on add. And here we pick the folder with the ABAP installation files. So in my case, VM and ABAP 7.5.2. Then we check the box auto mount and we click on OK. OK. So and now we have access to the installation files from OpenSUSE. So I open the terminal. Then I type the command sudo minus i. To do the next steps. So let's uh, extend this window here so we have more space. And now we type uh, sudo minus i. Type in the root password. And now we are logged in as root. And now we type cd slash media ls. And here we see the shared folder cd this uh, shared folder and here we see the installation files from sap and the install sh file and this file we have added before and now let's run this uh, install script before we type the command chmod plus x install dot sh so we can execute this file next i write dot slash install dot sh to run this script okay we have a warning that uh, we need a c shell to start the server okay now we install this c shell with a super install t c s h and enter continue so now we have installed the package and we type again the command dot slash install dot s h and with this command we start the sap ins installation so the license agreement we exit this with double point or colon and q then we type yes and we enter the root password and we enter the root password again and now the installation begins i have increased this step
and we see here the installation of NPL was successful. Then we type the command IP address and we remember this IP address because we we next we click on devices network and network settings then advanced and port forwarding and here we have to add the rule guest port is we uh, first we type in the guest IP 10.0.2.15 then the guest port 3200 the host port the same and the host IP 127.0.0.1 and the name of this rule is SAP GUI. Then OK and OK. The next step is we have to install the SAP GUI. For this, uh, we need this software to connect to the SAP system. So I go back to my VM folder ABAP752 client subgui for Windows and I extract this zip here. Then we click in the folder, then to GUI and Windows, Win32, and we click on setup.all.exe and we run this file. We connect. Here we check the box SAP GUI for Windows. Click on next, next, okay, so the installation is, uh, was successful, then on the left side we have a new icon called SAP, log on, double click on this icon. And now we have to add a connection, click on new item, then we click on next and I type here a description, ABAP 752 then the IP of the application server is 127.0.0.1 instance number 00, zero. system ID is NPL click finish and with double click on this entry a SAP window should be open and yes here it is now we type in the user and the password the user is developer and the password is download with uppercase D and instead of the L we type the number 1. And now we are in the install SAP system. So now we have a successful installed an SAP system. And now I show you how to start this system 
uh, for example after a reboot so let's reboot the image and here we get the error message the application server should down So we start OpenSUSE leap again. And to start the SAP system, we have to open a terminal window. Now first we check if the system is not available. It is not available. So now we open the terminal and we type here SU NPL ADM. Then we type the password, the OS password, the root password, and now we type start SIAP all. And with this command, we start the SAP system. Now different services and the database will be started. This takes some time. Okay, now we see here the message instance on host started and now let's try to log in and here we have the SAP window, the system is available, now we log in the system. And now we can uh, check if the transaction SE80 is working. It uh, there are some objects uh, compiled, so it takes uh, took some time. So let's open the transaction SU01 to change the developer user so that works so let's change the last name and the first name and let's save this okay that works so we have a fully SAP system uh, and there we can uh, practice some ABAP to stop the SAP system, we type the command stop SAP and we see now the server and the database is shutting down. And we should get the message that the system is not available anymore. Yes, here it is. So the server is down and the database is stopped as well okay that was it already again if you are interested in more about sap and abap like programming examples please subscribe to my channel leave me a comment if the installation worked for you or if not 
I would be happy if we see us again in one of my next videos. Have fun and see you soon.